I feel like I already know the answer to this question, but what's the status of you all's relationship as of today? For the first time, this is kind of our last chance to really make it work. Five 90-day couples will come together. Yeah, I've been miserable for two and a half years. Our marriage is pretty rocky right now. To face their relationship demons. The network, the people, they absolutely love y'all, the relationship. Let's just start off. What makes this 90-day series different from others that you've actually been a part of together? I think the first thing that's different is it's going to be multiple couples interacting with each other in one location and yeah. and then there's a huge um therapy component so we'll be able to interact with other couple couples rather that are dealing with the same things that we're dealing with we love to see that therapy component because i feel like it's a it allows us for you all to not only kind of measure your progress with other couples but then it's like you know you're really internally finding yourself like right before our eyes what did you all learn i know you speak of therapy what did you all learn while in the resort <laughs> well, i learned i was once a um three foot tall leprechaun <laughs> in, a, in a previous life yeah no so we we have different therapists that have their different um techniques and one in particular you know i think we both really enjoyed was the trans um aggression therapy where they take you back to where you were in a previous life and i was um i don't want to spoil it too much but um i would can i say what what happened or no no yeah no okay so <laughs> so you know but it, it's pretty awesome very in depth very um introspectual i guess in many different ways and of course you know there's a lot of partying going on party <laughs> Yeah, well, you should not be going to therapy when you've had a few drinks in you. <laughs> but, so. but, uh, but a lot of us, some of us did, not all the time, but some of us um, would, because there would be breaks in between and we would, because um, it was so hot, uh, you know, I think you're required to drink alcohol. Go on a resort. <laughs> I mean, we're in the middle of the most beautiful resort in America. And uh, you're in all these meetings and there was a bar right by the beach. In this beautiful location. So that's where we spent. Oh, Dallas, would you all do this whole experience over again? I know we haven't seen it yet, but would you all? Would um, you we went through a lot of therapy in two weeks. And we not only learned things that we needed to deal with together, we needed to learn things about ourselves that we needed to work on individually. So it was couples therapy, but then it was also individual therapy. And I love that we came into this with, um, like in our history of our relationship, I've gone to like his therapist and stuff. And it kind of was just nice having like mutual boundings. And like, we, we have three therapists. We, you know, they're analyzing us. It's, they're just, we just learned so much from it. Yeah, it, it was a lot, it was like, Almost like um, therapy boot camp. What's the number one thing that each of you learned from the therapy while at the resort that you're now working on actively every day? For me, um, becoming a better listener, I think, um, and just being more, you know, in tune with um, what makes me happy because you realize in a relationship, you expect the other person to tow the load and make you happy and you, have to really be happy within yourself to contribute to your partner. Liz? I'm a total people pleaser and I learned that I need to use my voice and like not being so quiet. So that definitely comes out a lot with me speaking up. Um, but I also learned too, like I think something that we both learned is we both self-sabotage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and a lot of, and a lot of our Friends in relationships, we don't like to point it out, but they um, fall in that, that same trap where, mm -hmm. you know, they want to give up too soon or they don't want to put in the work. And a relationship I once heard was it's 50-50 and it's not. It's it's 100% and 100% all of the time. Okay, he's I'm not so smart. <laughs> Liz, I know, I know you're coming like- You're using big words. Yes. I, I know you're like, like that's my man. Word. I, worked, I learned a bunch of big boy words and I'm using them. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like I already know the answer to this question, but what's the status of you all's relationship as of today? I don't think we're allowed to say. Yeah. But There's definitely a lot to come. 
This is a new location, we can say that. We're in a new location. Obviously, we're sitting next to each other. In a new city, in a new mm -hmm. town. Out of California. Okay. That's Smiling from ear to ear right now. Okay. Um, we've seen a lot of ups and downs throughout your relationship. And thank you for being so transparent and showing that showing that with us. What keeps you all drawn together? Because I believe it's reported that you guys have broken up, what, 10, 11 times? <laughs> I don't think we actually know the count anymore, to be honest. We've been yeah, we counting. Eleven. I have enough diamonds to make up for every breakup, though. So if he wants to throw a couple more in, we're good to go. <laughs> what keeps you all drawn to each other? Um, we're keep having you back. I don't know. I, don't... I think it's my mug, honestly. <laughs> I think it's my attractiveness. No, as I crazy think... as we are, we do seem to balance each other out very, very nicely. And we're learning to become. You know, no matter what happens, we're he's learning. learning to become submissive. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> yeah, early on. But no, what I I think we're learning to become best friends. No matter mm -hmm. what happens, we'll always be friends. That's a good answer. Right. We've learned. We've actually. That was really good. Oh, <laughs> that was really sweet. extra cuddles tonight for Ed. Extra cuddles tonight. Um, I'm curious. At the same time, what kept driving you all apart? Do you feel like you'll be able to break the cycle? Like, what the it was me. <laughs> but, you know, insecurities, um, all the jealousy, but all that stuff is gone. Like, we don't, we're not dealing with that anymore. We don't have jealousy right now. It's so, it's so different. Everything that we've learned through it, um, I'm, there just isn't, oh. <laughs> Your eyes are all glossy. <laughs> um, yeah, the jealousy is gone. We have like more freedom. We've been, I mean, communication is always a huge barrier, but yeah. We just, we're able to let a lot of the, the junk go and just, you know, learn to learn more about each other, I guess. Yeah, and we're still learning. <laughs> yeah. Why are you getting emotional, Ed? Um, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, just when we talk about this whole experience, it's just crazy how much we've grown and yeah. just have learned from well, we're in a But we're in a great place. That, that I can tell you. Speaking of places, are you still living in separate houses? Do people want to know? I know in uh, season seven. <laughs> Wait, can we tell them? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. know if we're allowed to tell you. I mean, we did say we're at a new location, so. But we didn't tell you how many locations. I'm still wearing a ring, but that's also to be determined. <laughs> I got to ask like these double down questions because my viewers, they will come after me. They're gonna be like, you have to ask the follow up question, you know? Um, there you what does your family and friends think of your relationship? We're curious. My family um, adores Liz. They they um, they actually like her more than me, which is <laughs> not surprising. And they will tell me, look, you know, if anything ever happens to Liz, um, we choose her. I mean, they've made that very very clear. So, um, and we're learning, we're meeting new friends, which is always a slow process because one thing that Liz and I did early on, without even realizing it, is that you let people in your life that shouldn't be in your life. We didn't take the time to really get to know who they were and that backed up on us. So now that we kind of have a new, you know, city, um, we can kind of start over. Hmm. It's been, we've learned a lot. We've, we have leaving the therapy boot camp, <laughs> the craziness of all of it. Um, yeah, we came out with a clear, fresh start. And for us, it's been the best thing that we could have ever done and we were even hesitant to go to it. And there's gonna be so much to share within our, our journey through it, yeah. but it's- Except for the heat, the extreme heat and mowing bonds. I've never had <laughs> since I was 15. Other than those two things, I love where we live. <laughs> What's been the relationship with, with your children, each other's kids, your relationship with your mother and daughter? Um, where, where do you all stand and, and do you all talk? So I'm gonna yeah, so, mom, so mom's back. I talk to her every day. We talk to her, you know, um, almost every day. She comes out to visit. Um, 
She's thinking about moving out of here, but not with us. No offense, Mom. <laughs> um, my daughter's still um, on her journey. She still hasn't forgiven Dad, um, uh, as far as my side. And then um, I'm just happy to be around my family that I've, you know, I've been away from for 40 years. If your daughter was watching your interview now, what would you want to say to her? Oh, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Talking about his daughter is always very hard and emotional, but yeah, he, just... he calls her, or he reaches out to her every week. He sends her messages all the time. Um, yeah. Come home. I understand. What's next for both of you? Because we see a bright future. Um, we've been seeing it play out over the past few years, just this, this brightness that you guys bring to our screen, but what is next? Could you see yourself moving to Hollywood? <laughs> well, well, we just, I don't even know if we're allowed to say, well, I mean, we already just, it's been a crazy couple months already. <laughs> so, <laughs> another move is a lot to think about. I don't know if you've ever moved, but it's, you know, it's a pain. So we're we're just settling in now. Yeah, we had a so. dra after we left the resort, we had a drastic change two weeks after. So just Hollywood's not there at the moment. Okay. And I was gonna say in Hollywood right now? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And I wanna go back to your ring. It's beautiful. I'm guessing you guys are engaged. We can't tell we you. We can't tell. The ring's on there. <laughs> the ring's on you. here, yeah. I don't have a ring yet, but that's... So there is a game of potential or something. Okay. I yeah. love... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> trying to get it out of us. You're good. I'm sorry. This, these are my favorite interviews because I know you can't talk a lot, but I, I try my best to like dance with you and see like how much you're willing to um, we're curious, just a couple more questions for you. If, if you're friendly with anyone on the franchise, are you guys kind of like double dating? Or do, do you talk to another couple? Um, um, yeah, can I say something? So something may have happened between Joby and I, that's all I want to say. Talk about jealousy. Yeah. I've learned to get over my jealousy. Joby and I got really, really close. So that's all I want to say about that. And then Ushuelo, his kids, oh my God, they were there. I love, his I kids. love this oh little kid's God. marshmallow. We named, we named him Marshmallow. One of the Marshmallows. Marshmallow. Because it feels like a little marshmallow. Um, and Liz, I, I think I saw her bond with, believe it or not. I love Kalani. I saw her bond with Angela. Angela. Who knew? Who would have known? Angela, I swear, she's like the realest person. Like, you either hate her or you love her. And I just, yeah. She's I, awesome. I've always, I have always loved Angela. She's a little bit of a train wreck. You, when eating, when sharing a McMuffin with her at a restaurant, you can't sit too close because she spits her food. Other than that, I love Angela. <laughs> oh. and, and she smokes, but whatever. A real catch there, spitting food. Okay, okay. <laughs> Out of that fun. <laughs> Has CLC talked to you all at all about your own show? We'd love to see it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. As if people already can't get enough of us or want more. That's just like, <laughs> that's yeah. a whole other. I yeah. mean, we're still trying to, like, we yeah, still have to put up with each other every day. I, I'll tell you, on a different level, um, being in a relationship, let alone having the world know everything about there's you. There's no privacy. And there's no, there's no way to describe it. I mean, I mean, the divorce rate is like, I think over 64%. And those people aren't on TV, right? So for us, it's it's always gonna be a real challenge. And as far as other TV shows, we'll really have to sit down and, and think about how much of the world, because everybody comes up to us everywhere in every restaurant, in every gas station, like, how are you guys doing? Tell you know, we, and they know more about my life than I do. Wow. It's just like, oh yeah, um, your mom said this. I'm like, what? <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. It's great because you meet someone and you're making their day, which makes us feel good. Um, but then if you're eating or at the gym, it can get kind of frustrating. Like you, you, you have no privacy. One thing I find really ironic in this whole journey of being on TV is that um, there are real celebrities like uh, Pete Davidson, um, um, Andrew Schultz, a comedian, 
um, um, tiger, tiger belly there. They are fangirl over us. And it, I'm like, what? I don't get it. Like we watch the silver screen and we like, if I ever met a star, I would freak out. But when they meet, when they meet me or they, they comment online, I'm like blown away. It's, it's, I don't get it. It's reality. Um, the Hollywood is obsessed with reality stars in general, not just um, us. But how awesome is that? The fact that you can say that people like Pete Davidson are obsessed with like- Oh, when, when Pete Davidson says that he, if he saw Leonardo walking down the street, he'd be like, whatever. But if he saw Big Ed or Liz, he would lose his, he would lose his mind. So for me, it's like, okay, of the million things I do wrong, I hopefully have done a couple things right. Being on TV. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I was going to stay here like, nonchalant. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I nice thought... to do something right, you know? Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, the thing that's something hey. right is right on the left of you. Yeah, and Liz would never um, shower with rats. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know. I'm pretty adventurous. So. <laughs> I'm not. You two have been such a joy, and we're so excited to see what's next. I'm hoping for a TLC wedding special. When well, that was say, though, this has been my favorite season to shoot. It was very hard for me coming into Ed's world. I mean, I broke down more times than none, trying to have your own life to TV life. Yeah. And this season is by far completely different. It's and my favorite se season. It's probably gonna be the first season I watch because I've I never seen any of my seasons with Ed. <laughs> if I could piggyback on that, there's been a paradigm shift at TLC where you have all these couples in turmoil. And this is the one show that we got to, to participate in that actually they want to help you. They want to help yeah. you. Instead of watching us destroy ourselves, they actually brought in therapists. So for me, I'm really happy. And I feel like this is the best show I've ever done for TLC. Yeah. I, and I, Warner I, I, and Max and whoever else owns you guys. <laughs> that says a lot because you guys have been through a lot with the network and this lifestyle. That means a lot. And I'm glad you yeah. get out of it just as much as what the people are seeing while they're watching. Because it's yeah. one thing for you to be entertaining to people, but it's another thing for you to feel like it's like it's um cathartic for you. It, and it, it, yeah, and there's there's a couple I'll say this. There's a couple um haunted house relationships in the mix. And there's a couple of Cinderella stories. Thank you guys so much. You're a pleasure and God bless you both. Really appreciate it. And congratulations on all your success. We're excited to see you continue to soar. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.